Good morning, everybody. March 6th, 2018, 6.45 a.m. We are tracking Winter Storm Quinn, which will be a nor'easter by the time it reaches the northeast. Uh, really quick, though, uh, for those of you that think that this is the end of these types of storms, we have another system currently moving from the Pacific Ocean into the areas where it looks like it's curving up uh, into Oregon, and then we have Washington up here, and then Northern California. Uh, I was reading wind charts on this. There are 60 plus mile an hour winds that could be hitting the coasts here uh, of these three states, and then this is going to turn into a system with the jet stream pushing it down, and uh, it has the potential to be yet another winter storm. So, just wanted to let you guys know about that. Unfortunately, uh, it all depends on the jet stream as far as that goes, whether it's going to be a system or not. Now, this video, I'm particularly going to be talking about uh, coastal areas that are in the hit or miss area. Now, uh, all over New York, we're talking uh, Albany, Syracuse, upstate New York, 12 to 18 inches across the board. Uh, Wednesday going through Friday, those are snow totals. So we're talking over a two and a half day period, the 12 to 18 inches will fall. Uh, the areas closest to the Great Lakes to the east will get more than that. Buffalo, Watertown, Erie, uh, you could be looking at anywhere from 18 and up, uh, which is <laughs> just a lot of snow, unfortunately. Um, northeast Pennsylvania, 5 to 8. We have Allentown and Philly in the 5 to 8 areas. Now, Philly is just on that line, too, because Philly is a little bit closer to the coast um, as far as uh, the amount of land in between the ocean and the coast. And the reason that I'm mentioning this is because when you have a nor'easter, we have Winter Storm Quinn right here, which is spinning. It's beginning to do its little spin thing like that, and then it's going to get caught up and start moving across the Great Lakes, which is already affecting. Uh, areas of Michigan, uh, 12 to 18 inches. Uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin, I saw 12 to 18 inches. So this thing is a huge snowmaker. Now, here is the situation. We see this water vapor band that is coming up the East Coast. There is also a low pressure system that is moving up the East Coast as well, and when these two low pressures interact with each other, that is what causes the Nor'easter. Now, these high amounts of snow are due uh, to both of these systems meeting together. Now, Winter Storm Quinn on its own would do its own uh, 5 to 8 inches all across the board here in the Northeast. Now, here are snow total accumulations. I know you guys aren't used to uh, looking at this chart, but basically... The pinker you go, you go into the pink and reds and purples, we're talking 14, 16, 18, 20 inches of snow. You could see parts of uh, Maine here that have 20 inches of snow as a total accumulation over the next three days. You also see these pinks and reds in some areas of New York, uh, the upper areas, the higher altitudes. And then you see this cutoff right here by, ba by Massachusetts down into Long Island, and that is current. Now, this chart changes on a daily basis. Now, this is the situation. If uh, it's, it's not too hard to follow. Now, I want you to notice something right here on this chart. You see this low pressure system that moves up right along the coast here, and then we have that separate low, which is Quinn. So we have these two low pressures that begin to spin around each other in the northeast. Now, depending on this low system here, the farther it is out into the ocean, the more it's going to pull this separate low system into the coast. So right now they're saying that this low pressure system is going to hug the coast, which may leave those areas of like Providence, Rhode Island, Hartford, uh, possibly uh, not Trenton, I wouldn't say. Trenton's a little inland in, in Jersey. But um, Boston, Massachusetts, Long Island, uh, you will get snow, but this is the determining factor whether it's going to be a lot of snow or a little snow. So basically, the closer this low is into the coast, the less snow these one little strip of coastal areas are going to get. The farther away it is, the more it pulls that second low out into the northeast, dropping more snow. So as of right now, they are claiming that these little strips here are going to get that maybe one to three inches. There's also a one to three inch deal going on in here, but all across inland, when you get 50 miles inland, no matter what, it's like eight inches across the board and more. So that is the uh, explanation that I tried to come up with to uh, give you guys. So once again, that low pressure that's coming up to meet Quinn 
as they spin around each other and cause that nor'easter, the, lo the low pressure in the ocean, the farther it goes out this way, the more it's going to pull Quinn into the equation, dumping snow on those coastal areas. Now, the closer that low is, it's going to bounce, it's going to interact with Quinn, but the closer it is, the less snow that little area is going to get. So, just some small spots may get that three to five or two to four inches rather than a foot. So that's the dramatic difference here. We're talking 10 miles difference could be anywhere between 12 to 18 inches of snow and then six inches of snow, which is a huge difference. So just check out this chart. Look at where you are in the country. Uh, there is an area of West Virginia, uh, which is actually East West Virginia, which could be getting 10 inches of snow. And then around that band there, you see that yellow, that's 8 inches. And then as you move farther and farther down the chart, it's 4, 2, and then the grays are 0. You can see the gray colors here. Now, again, this is an accumulation chart over 3 days, or 2 and a half days, rather, uh, uh, going into Sunday, basically. Okay, so the storm ends Friday. So we're talking a 2 and a half day, even though the chart goes to the 11th. This is a 2 and a half day chart as far as snowfall, because once that... Uh, low system comes over the Great Lakes, which it's currently doing. That is Winter Storm Quinn. It's going to meet that low pressure that is said to be pulling, or it's said to be closer to the coast than we thought, leaving these little areas out of the major blizzard conditions. But don't get me wrong, guys. Most of eastern Pennsylvania, uh, north New Jersey, all the way up into New York, uh, most of Massachusetts, except for that little area, Nantucket, you will still get massive wind uh, gusts. So Boston, you will get the wind. You may not get the amount of snow that they're claiming. That line is right there. That's the difference, though. Ten miles could be the difference between blizzard conditions and a two- to four-inch snow deal, which is really nothing compared to what we've been experiencing this winter. A lot of yellow colors going up. We have, a, that again, that red, which could be more than 18 inches of snow in areas of Maine. We have these red dots spotted all over the place, one in Vermont. We got this little area in New York that has the uh, possibility of being over 18 inches of snow. And that's why I had that two feet uh, on the thumbnail yesterday. Uh, Great Lakes regions, uh, Michigan, uh, we're talking 8 to 10, which is going to be happening overnight tonight. And then tomorrow morning going into... Uh, Thursday is when the Northeast is going to get slammed with this storm. So whatever Quinn is doing right now um, in the Midwest, uh, basically Midwest as of now, more like Mid-East, I would say Great Lakes is the east side. So we cut down the middle, we have east, we have west, and then we have the mid. So uh, right now this storm is moving over the Great Lakes. Anything to the east of these areas will get a lot of snow. Uh, like I said, Green Bay, Wisconsin, you're going to get slammed if you're not already getting slammed. And then to the east of the Great Lakes here, you see the yellow spots there. Right to the east of the Great Lakes, that's where a lot of snow is going to dump. That's lake effect snow on top of the winter storm. And then that low pressure moving up the east coast is going to determine which coastal areas get the most snow. But that does not mean you won't get the wind. The wind will be there. Coastal erosion, we talked about that wall falling down. Um, in Massachusetts, the high tide happened overnight last night. I did not get a chance to check and see what is going on with that, but that's what I wanted to try to explain to you this morning. I'm going to be back this afternoon with a full update, but you can see that low is hugging the coast. The farther it moves out, the more it's going to pull that snow into the coastal areas. So, again, guys, this is a major system. There's going to be a lot of snow in New York, a lot of snow in northeast Pennsylvania, all of the eastern Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, uh, most of Long Island. Again, that little uh, area, Montauk, Hamptons area, may not get hit as hard. It depends on how close that low pressure is that's going to interact and cause the nor'easter and then again you can see it right here on tropical tidbits as i move forward you got the low pressure right here hugging the coast and then uh, winter storm quinn is a low pressure itself they begin to spin around each other and you can see right there it kind of leaves that little area that little gap right there uh, without being hit too hard but again this could change over the next two hours this thing moves 50 miles out into the ocean we're talking another six inches of snow for those coastal areas but if you live in New York especially near the Appalachian Mountains or anything like that uh, be prepared to have a two-day indoor uh, board game day or board game days rather because this thing is going to drop a lot of snow um, I'm supposed to get six to eight inches overnight tomorrow. 
um, right in this area here. Again, that low pressure is going to keep areas of the Chesapeake Bay out of this. It's going to be more of a rain event. Uh, it's going to start as rain for Long Island, and then as you see that spin, it's going to spin that cold air into Long Island to get the snow. So you can see how these things are interacting with each other. Um, if you have any questions about what I just talked about, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them the best I can. But again, it all depends on this low pressure system, how far out it is into the Atlantic, that's going to bring the snow to the coastal areas. Anything 50 miles inland, it's going to be blizzard conditions. This is a very big storm and that's really all you can say about it. I mean, look at all the warnings going on and this is Winter Storm Quinn up here and that's causing issues this far south all the way to North Texas. All right, everybody. Th I hope you have a good morning, and I will be back this afternoon for more in-depth analysis of this storm and what we're going to get uh, state by state. Thank you very much. Have a great morning.